all this filament, an empty printer. Let's print what you want. It's Filament Friday. This week's design was suggested by Brandon Nixon. It's a unique switch cover plate designed by Thingiverse user Lobo CNC. The design consisted of three different STL files that I brought together. I printed at 20% and 0.2 layer height. And then I exported it. And after it was finished slicing, I noticed something. If you look close, the switch arms are missing. It's missing sections right here and right here. So I decided to check the whole thing out, and the rest of the design looked fine. So I decided to try and re-slice it. Only this time I brought it in, and when I hit export, I chose the same settings, 0.2 and 20%. But then I selected the auto repair, which was part of the XYZ wear. And then it went through the same slicing, everything looked the same, but when it was done, if you look close now, the arms are intact. Everything looked as it should be. So now I could take this design and I could send it to the printer and see how it comes out. Okay, so the print is done. It's been sitting here for a little bit, so it should come off pretty easy. Yep, comes off real easy. Two pieces, and then the base plate. And the base plate, I didn't fully realize, but it's got supports uh, designed right in. I didn't put those. I didn't print this with supports, so. It's kind of nice actually because a lot of times when there's a support designed in, it really messes up the print. It's too stiff, but these look really thin. In fact, some of them are like partially broke away. Yeah, these break away real easy. So this is this was well done. How easy those will break away. Of course, you know I don't need to do this. It's going to go against the wall, <laughs> so I guess it don't matter. Hmm. And now we've got the base plate with the pivot and the two locks. So this actually should snap into here and pivot. Perfect. And it's tight down here, but that's again because <clears throat> I print this stuff to stick to the bed. So these edges, yeah. I can see the edges are have extra plastic. So, let's get a little sandpaper. Gets rid of that real quick because it's just one layer. And this is printed at 0.2, so that's uh, 0.2 millimeters I'm sanding away. Ooh, this one, this one's fighting me. Oh, because I'm using the wrong side of the sandpaper. There we go. Feels better. Let's try that again. Snaps in quite nice. That is awesome. So now this needs to go on the switch itself, and then this will get pushed by this little bump right here. We'll pivot this thing this way or that way, which should turn the switch on or off. Not bad. Not bad at all. I, I think this came out really, really good. I'm liking more and more this nature or natural plastic. I see it listed as natural on many websites. 
but the box is nature, so I don't know. <clears throat> but it really comes out smoother. I actually compared it. I printed some pawns, and this is for a different project I haven't talked about yet, but um, and compared it to the red, and the, the red has more of a ridge than this nature or natural. So this is quickly becoming my favorite plastic to print with. What a great design. Snapped together, fit together perfectly. Man, that is really, really well done. I like it. I like it a lot. Have to see what else he designed. Because this is really good stuff. All right, so now I'll go install it and see how well it fits. Okay, so this is the wall where I'm going to put it. And this is actually my den. It's a work in progress. This is the new color. This is the old color. We've got some moldings to put up. So I've got some work to do in this room. And I don't have a switch cover on it. So this works out perfect. So let's see if this thing fits. Top screw fits good. And bottom screw fits good. Wow, that is a great design. So now I put the little rocker on the switch itself. Now if I flip this off, the main light that's in this room <laughs> shuts off. So I'm not going to flip it down yet. And then uh, I'm going to take the, the switch here, the, the uh, I guess the switch mechanism, and then that's set so it can flip it up and down. Fits good. Now this has got a flat side on it, and I think it would look better if it was like rounded on both sides. So I could bring it into Tinkercad and kind of re reproduce it and then merge them together. But then that might be a little bit hard to print because you'll end up with one side that's flat again. So it'd be something to try. Another thing I could do is what I like to do is print two of them and fuse them together with acetone. This is a case where I think it works really well. So with that, that's our Filament Friday. If you like this project, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you're new to the channel, check out some of my other videos. I've got videos that teach you how to set your DaVinci up to get the best prints out of it. Also, there's other Filament Friday projects and other projects in general where I show you how to use Tinkercad. So check them out. And if you have an idea for Filament Friday, leave it in the comments below. Give me the link or the file, wherever it's at, or you can send it to me an email. So I guess that's it. See you next time.